Hey everybody, Spud here from Spud's Games. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new device that I've just picked up, which helps shift the RGB picture on those modded Trinitrons. Stay tuned. Now when I first started looking for a device like this, I was a little bit worried about how much it's going to cost and whether it's actually going to be worth it or not. So I ended up pick, I went, jumped onto the web, started Googling, and I come across this from AliExpress now. I don't normally trust a lot of stuff from AliExpress. Um, I don't know why, but I've had a bit of a hit and miss with the quality of the products. But I'm happy, I'm happy to say this one is, is quite a good product. And, it, and the price point, I was actually quite surprised. So I only paid, uh, I think it was Australian dollars, $49 shipped. To Australia for this device. What I'll do is I'll get the camera nice and close and I'll run you through what's included on this little device. So here we are looking at the device now, um, just got on the bench. So I'll just tip it up so you can see it a little bit better. As you, as you can see, if I compare it to a Dreamcast game, which I'll, I'll grab here, um, it kind of, you know, it's maybe a little bit smaller than a Dreamcast game. Um, so it's, it's not too big at all, the device itself. Um, so what does it come with? So Obviously, you're going to have to have an in and out. So you have EuroSCART in, and you have SCART out. Now, I believe there is a Japanese version of this as well, if you do have a, a Japanese SCART system, uh, which is slightly different to the Euro system. So obviously, you could have in and out. Now, one little downfall about this, it's not about the device itself, it's probably about the advertising. Um, it does require power. So there's a power jack over here, 9 to 12 volt. Now, luckily, I had one. So it didn't really worry me, but it would have been nice. I'm sure it probably does say somewhere on the page that um, it is required, but it wasn't included. So just be aware, you do require a 9 to 12 volt. Uh, I think it's center positive um, power supply. You've also got RCAs on the side. So I'll just turn it over here. If you, if you don't have SCART and you're using um, RCAs as your, as your RGB, um, they're here as well. There's an in. If I turn it over, there's an out as well. You have a power switch, so this turns it on and off. Uh, if you turn it off, it just passes through. Uh, you turn it on, then you it's actively uh, monitoring the screen position. I'm yet to find out what, oh, sorry, this vertical position key. So what this will do is it will, um, it will actually basically bypass the vertical position knob uh, and whatever your TV is set to, that's what it will remain. It's like a lock, um, but if you have that in, um, then you can adjust um, the vertical position as well. So as for the adjustments, as I just mentioned, it has two pots on it, here and here. I'll just move that down a bit, here and here. So we have a vertical position pot and we have a horizontal position pot. Now, that's pretty much all there is to it. One thing I haven't tested, if I have SCART in, can I use RCA out? Um, I'll test that later on, but I'm assuming probably not. I'm assuming there's probably two circuits in this there and like the, the SCART will be its own and the RC will be, RCAs will be its own as well. But who knows, maybe you can use this as a, a SCART to RCA adapter. I'll give that a try later on. But for now, let's get this actually plugged in and tested and let's see how it works. So here we back are on the bench. So I've got it all plugged in. Uh, I've got the two SCART plugs in and out. Um, that's not a problem. Got the power on. When you turn the power on, you can. There is an indicator LED that the power is on um, for it. So let's give it a, a test, I suppose, and see if this works. So I can actually see the camera. I've got the um, camera on on um, on reverse angle, so I can see, and you can clearly see the picture shifting there, which is which is really good. Um, I can't notice any sort of stutter there so it's shifting quite smoothly so that, that's a good sign now let's just try up and down I don't know if I've got the vertical lock on or not probably not so there we go moving the picture up and down as well and I can't I can't really fault this device to tell you the truth um, and you'll see if I if I put the down here but I turn the vertical off you'll see it pops back to wherever the t TV default was um, and I can just use it for horizontal only but there's no flickering, there's no stuttering, it's just a nice smooth scroll. So all in all, does exactly what I wanted it to do. So how easy was that? I don't know how many hours I spent Googling trying to fix the problem when, you know, all I could do is pick up this little $49 device and it fixes it then and there. 
Um, I've tested on this flat. I've tested on a big 34-inch uh, round Trinitron. I've also tested it on a little 9-inch PVM, and all of them had no issues um, with it. Don't notice any lag or anything like that, so that's a good thing. I also like the fact that it has RCAs as well as SCART. Um, just gives you that extra option. Um, and I also like the fact that you can lock that vertical if you wanted to. So it does, does takes away any, um, I suppose, issues where it might move on you out of, like, out of spec. Um, you just lock it and you won't have any issues. So all in all, a super simple device. Um, I highly recommend it. It's well built. Uh, and as I said before, $49, I don't think you can go wrong. So that's it from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a nice quick one, this one. Um, it's just I thought I'd share this because I know there's a lot of people have the same problem um, and I think it's a pretty simple solution um, to, to get around that issue of the RGB shifting or not shifting far enough right. Uh, and you mainly get it in the Trinitrons. I haven't really experienced it in any other CRT. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, I'll see you then.